Not every player is lucky to enjoy a long and successful career. Sometimes an injury can put an end to all of your hopes and dreams. That's exactly what happened to Artis Abels. There was only one way he could achieve what he wanted to achieve. He had to become a coach. Out there on the ice you can single-handedly turn things around. Over here, on the bench, it's a little different. Parking lot in front of Dynamo Riga's training facility is crammed with players' with expensive cars. Among them there's a teamy Japanese car, and it's not even the latest model. This is what their head coach drives. He got into hockey because of a net on the radio. That's how his mom learned they were recruiting boys to a hockey school. We took a pair of figure skates from our neighbors, and that's all I had at my first practice. By the second practice my dad got me a helmet, and I was lucky he had. That day I fell on my back really hard and my head bumped on the ice, and I was like, I'm sure lucky to have a helmet on today. In 2008 he was 34 years old. Back then he didn't even think about retiring. He knew his life would never be the same that he would have to live by different set of rules. It all happened very sudden. He was getting ready for a new season when the doctors told him they were about his broken wrist. It was me who told the club we should sign him, says Norman Sayers, Time Riga's general manager. Back then he had a broken wrist and it was uncertain whether or not he would retire. I told we needed to sign a local guy who could later on become a coach. They were concerned about that. I told them we don't have that many local guys who would make good coaches. I understand we're playing a serious league and I'm okay with signing a foreign coach, but let this guy learn from him. It doesn't matter how long it would take, one year or five, but in the end we will have our own coach. Dynamo's coach back then was Julius Schupler. Norman says and him invited me over and asked, how's your wrist? I told them, pretty bad, thank you. Then they asked me if I wanted to be Schupler's assistant. Well, what's the expression? Every cloud has a silver lining. Dynamo's president signed the papers and Artis entered new rail. He needed to make the most of the opportunity. Nobody was giving me any guarantees. That's how life works. I was told there's the ring, learn how to coach and try to do your job well. See that ditch over there? That's where the rink used to be. Parking lot was over here. I haven't been here in maybe 10 years. Walking by the place where Dynamo's old rink used to be, Abel talks about his first steps in coaching career. He was learning from Pekka Rao to Kali on Julius Schupler. Two very different coaching styles and he had to take the best from both of them. Schupler once told me, Archie, if it was that easy, my mother-in-law could have been a coach. <laughs> On October 5, 2012, Pekka Rautikalo was fired and Abels was named Dynamo's replacement coach. That was his chance, but things weren't going his way. The team was on the bottom of the standings, and the atmosphere in the dressing room was pretty depressing. I was named just a replacement coach, but essential was the same thing as being a head coach. I think every coach feels the same when that happens, especially young coaches. You feel kind of lost. One coach once said, hockey is a great game, but only if you win. And if the team fires the coach, it's not very likely they're winning much, is it? I told my team, look, I'm given a big opportunity here, but if you're not going to help me, I can't really do anything with it. Dynamo finished the season as the last team in the Western Conference, an absolutely devastating result. The owners had to look for a new coach, and that's when KHL came up with the Nadezhda Cup idea, or Cup of Hope as some call it. Every team that didn't qualify for the playoffs could compete for it. It was an important tournament for me. I think had we not win the Cup, my chances of becoming Dynamo's head coach would have been significantly lower. True, not every team was battling for the Nadezhda Cup like there was no tomorrow. Many teams were simply waiting for the season to end, but it wasn't Dynamo's Riga's case. They really wanted to win it. On their way to the final, they beat Torpedo, Donbass, Dynamo Minsk and then beat Amor in the final. It was a good test for our professionalism. It was impossible to lie to yourself and the fans that these guys were of utmost importance.
Well, I guess we were taking the whole thing a little more seriously than other teams we had to face. I'm happy we played at the tournament, I'm happy we won, but I don't want to compete for that cup again. In the preseason, Dynamo had to undergo through certain changes, and Norman Sayers got to work. He came back to Riga from left Prague, and once again he told the owners to place their trust in Abels. I told them, look, let's give him a chance. Or would you like to wait another five years? Let's give him a shot and let him work in peace. If things really look awful and terrible, we'll look for somebody to replace him. My point was simple, he had to be given a fair shot, the time seemed right. If a guy with 30 years of coaching experience is gonna tell you that he guarantees you a certain result, don't trust him. It's sports, and there's no guarantees in sports. I mean, sure, you have your tactics and your workout system that you've applied in the past and that led you to certain results. That allows you to have certain expectations. But it wasn't my story, I had very little experience. The fact that we're doing well this season is pleasing to me, and a little surprising too. Dynamo was doing really well in the regular season. They won all the way from the bottom to the top. They were well organized and played smart hockey. They were responsible defensively and very effective offensively. Coaches around the league had to learn Dynamo's new playing style, the one created by Artis Abels. I don't have as much of spare time now and I have more problems to worry about. It's tougher comparing to being an assistant coach. Assistant coaches don't have so much responsibility. You do as your head coach tells you. If he's not interested in your opinion, he's not even gonna ask for it. While he's busy doing his job, you're free to mind your own business. These days I think about hockey more than I used to. This season Sandis Aldridge has returned to Dynamo. Some were skeptical about his attitude towards Artis Abels. Can he really work as hard as anybody under Abels, who is a few years his minor? I understand that this situation might have worried a few people, but they were worried only because they know little about the way things work in our club. Both Artis and Sandis are professionals. I talked to Sandis about this and he told me that at the end of the day he's still a player and Artis is the coach, so it's his duty to listen to him. It's not the first time I come across something like that, says Ozlic. I saw a few times how certain players on the team were older than their coaches. I saw how it works. I saw how this relationship is built. I understand how you build a relationship that will allow both parties to work normally and help their team. I've known Sandis for a few years, but of course our relationship is a little different now that he's a player and I'm his coach. There was never a time though when I had to sit down with him and talk head to head. The need just never arised. We're both grown-ups. This is really a story of three people who managed to get the team together. They became their key figures. Norman Sayed did really well on the transfer market, Artis Abels and his staff did a great coaching job, and Sandis Olsen set high goals and practices and led the team by example. You get used to the job. When I was an assistant, my main job was to listen to the head coach and do as he says. Now it's a little different. Now I have to walk into the dressing room and address the team. Guys I played with are listening to me. It feels a bit weird at first, but you get used to it. And the more you win, the more confidence you gain. I guess that's not that different from a player's perspective. I told my guys, look, I'm not gonna yell at you or run around like crazy to get you motivated. You've played with each other for many years, except maybe the import players. You know what I want to see out there, you know what to do, so do your job. It's not my job to run after you and beg you to do something you're supposed to. I mean, I yell at them every now and then just because I can't be calm all the time, but that's not how I usually do things. I like our coaching stuff. They do a great job. They're very professional and straight to the point, just the way it should be, says Dynamo Riga's forward Alexander Nijivi. Artis retired from his coaching career just a few years ago, says Mik Sindrashis. He knows what we feel like. We have a great connection because of that. I don't want to say that older guys are worse, but they certainly look differently at certain things.
как бы, не, не хочу сказать старый, но... Абелс и его ассистент знают, когда нужно расслабиться или как бы, нас мотивировать. Все то, что как-то... В Рижском Динамо хорошо... Дайна Марига имеет хорошую атмосферу в дрессинг-руме. Есть много шуток и смеяния. Абелс крепит смеяния на репортерах очень часто, как будто он против интервью в интервью. Мне кажется, мне неплохо с чувством юмора, и совсем не... I don't think I have a problem with a sense of humor. I don't mind laughing. I just think everything should be taken in moderation, in both life and hockey. There's a time for everything. Personally, I don't like when players get all serious before games. Some of them won't answer their phones, they put their game faces on and become so serious. What if you play every day of a year? Would you go around all grumpy for an entire year? This is first play as far as Abels as a head coach. He's not afraid of it, and it's unlikely that somebody is going to blame him if he's going to lose to one of the top teams in the West. Although Dynamo Riga has a history of playoff upsets. I'm not going to tell you anything you don't know already. We managed to knock out SKA St. Petersburg a few years back when we were seventh seed. We beat Dynamo Moscow in the playoffs as well. Actually, we're the last team to beat them in the playoffs. They won every playoff series after that. Archer has been with the team for a while, says Marcel Hosa. He's very ambitious. He's very flexible, too. He's able to make us avoid big slumps. I don't think coaches age is a thing to be concerned about. Things have worked out so far for us. Hopefully, that's the way it's going to continue to be. Some say that a hockey coach should be a great strategist and therefore should be a great chess player. However, Abels never plays chess and he never really felt like it. It's not my thing. Driving, on the other hand, yes. I just love driving around. Even now I'm talking to you, I'm driving and I'm having fun. At first I thought that feeling will go away once I get my license, but it just never went away. <laughs>